mental health is health? Absolutely, but we don't think of it that way. The student's basic needs is what comes to the immediate forefront. When in reality, they're still navigating all of those other mental health pieces. It's increased anxiety. It's increased depression. It's the trauma of living in some of these situations. I've spent most of my career working with immigrant and migrant students. The cultural stigma is just so real in so many places. It's that we don't ask for help. It's that we find help through other ways. It prevents so many students from getting the help that they need. We don't really even stop to talk about the trauma of being an immigrant, of what those kids are living through or what they've been through to get to the U.S. I worked with a student. He was an immigrant, came from Mexico, he was undocumented, went to his gym class, they were working on a swimming unit, and he refused to get into the pool. I'd learned he'd almost drowned coming to the U.S. and was terrified to get in the pool and had all this PTSD from his immigration experience that he'd never talked about with anybody. And now we're saying, put all that aside to participate in a PE class. It was that trauma that he had that nobody took into consideration. Shakopee, Minnesota, a suburb of the Twin Cities, they have the, a huge influx of immigrant students. They use their ARP funds to work with a bilingual bicultural therapist in the community to come in and provide small group counseling to these students so that they have a safe space in the language that they could all communicate in to talk through and process their immigration experience so that they could do that and then go to class and engage. Schools are not equipped. They don't have the capacity to provide those mental health supports. You've got counselors and social workers with 500 student caseloads. A great thing to do with your RFHCY funds is to hire those systems navigators to really make those connections. Teachers don't have to do it all. They can't do it all. They already do the amazing thing of educating students. It's recognizing and understanding how those little pieces might fit together to lead into someone's homelessness or someone's homeless situation. It's all about relationships. The students that I've worked with, I haven't been able to help them every time, but I can say, I want to help you get connected to this person who can actually help you. I'm not going to just hand you a phone number and wait for you to call. I'm going to call with you. I want to hand you off to this person who does have the ability and the capability to help you, but I'm going to make sure that you get there without just waiting for you to kind of figure it out on your own.